Ghostbusters was a major box office hit in 1984. Since then, Ghostbusters has become a pop culture classic spawning merchandise, a show at Universal Studios, cartoons, sequels, and unfortunately, a remake. The film follows three scientists and a hired hand as they commercialize ghost extermination and containment. The comedic styling of Bill Murray, coupled with John Bruno's visual effects, allow for the supernatural to invade the hearts of many. Was it this formula that made this movie franchise so popular? People have always been curious as to what happens after they die. Do you reincarnate into another form? Are you taken directly to heaven or hell? Or is the ghost of Hell Ramis, rest in peace, and many others still wandering this earth with unfinished business? We need only to look to the word for clear answers. Solomon, the wisest man that ever lived, wrote in Ecclesiastes 9.5, For the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything, neither have they any more reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. The dead have no more conscious thought. Their time on this earth has ceased, which means a ghost could not possibly be a sentient being. Most people refer to the soul as a separate being, but the Bible clearly defines a soul. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Some people believe they have found biblical evidence of reincarnation, citing Matthew 11, 7 through 14 as their proof. In these verses, Jesus likens John the Baptist to Elijah the prophet. His statement has been interpreted as Elijah coming back in the form of John the Baptist. The doctrinal belief of reincarnation is based on the death and reemergence as another being. Elijah never died. In 2 Kings 2.11, we see that Elijah was taken directly to heaven in a chariot of fire. John the Baptist came in the spirit and power of Elijah, Luke 1.17, to perform the same task of preparing the way for the Lord. The Bible simply does not support reincarnation. So what happens when a person dies? Then the dust will return to the earth as it was, and the spirit will return to God who gave it, Ecclesiastes 12.7. A person's body returns to dust, and the spirit or breath returns to God. Jesus Christ, when clarifying Lazarus' condition, declared that when Lazarus was sleeping, he was actually dead. Christ called him forth, not down, so he was dead on this earth, not alive in heaven. You can find this in John 11, 1 through 45. The same is applicable for Christ's death, as he slept in a tomb awaiting resurrection. When a person dies, they are actually asleep, waiting for Christ's second coming. No wandering, translucent, conscious beings, just dust returning to the earth and breath returning to God. So what are ghosts? Ghosts are demons. Satan and his angels have been here since the beginning of Earth's history and it's no big feat for them to impersonate deceased loved ones, famous personalities, or how the Bible classifies them, familiar spirits. Satan himself can transform into an angel of light and this is found in 2 Corinthians 11:14. So be wary of your deceased grandma or Tupac talking with you. But why would they do such a thing? Demons impersonating familiar personalities will claim to have knowledge from beyond the grave, but this knowledge is just lies to bring mankind to its eternal death. You can see this in the account of Saul and the Witch of Endor. Saul consulted a witch who claimed to have resurrected the spirit of the prophet Samuel. This demon impersonating Samuel gave information that led to his death. This will be repeated in the last days as dark spirits will aid the agencies of this world to deceive many into believing upholding the law of God is of no importance. But sin is the transgression of the law, and the wages of sin is death. Ghostbusters used to be one of my favorite films as a youth, but as a man I put away childish things. The reality is there are no man-made technologies or scientific methods to contain or combat the spiritual realm, especially technology from the 80s. We can only defeat Satan and his demons through the power of Jesus Christ. Many films, TV shows, video games, and even music promote the idea that the soul is another conscious being that leaves the body. When you fall for this lie, it is very easy for Satan to supply an endless stream of deceptions that will lead to the hurt, even death, of yourself and others. This includes reincarnation, spirit guides, seances, and the occult in total. Though Ray misquotes the last book of the Bible, we are living in the pages of Revelation. And I'm sorry, Winston, the dead are not rising yet, but soon. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 and 17. All who put their trust in Jesus Christ will be shielded from these deceptions and dwell with him in a kingdom with no evil. So in short, with Christ, you don't have to be afraid of no ghost. So who are you going to call?